Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrek. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Safriya Palace in the presence of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Jordanian Prime Minister and Minister of Defense Dr. Bishr Al Khasauna, and the accompanying delegation on the occasion of his visit to the kingdom to participate in the fifth session of the Joint Jordanian Bahraini Higher Committee led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister and the Jordanian Premier. The meeting was also attended by the personal representative of His Majesty the King. His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, and National Security Advisor, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Minister of the Royal Court, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, and the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdul Latif Al Zayani. Jordanian Premier conveyed to His Majesty the King the greetings and appreciation of the Jordanian monarch, His Majesty King Abdullah II, and his wishes of further progress and prosperity to Bahrain under His Majesty's leadership. His Majesty to welcome the Jordanian Premier and asked him to convey his greetings to the Jordanian monarch and his wishes of development and prosperity to the Jordanian people. His Majesty the King hailed the outcomes of the Joint Higher Committee's meeting where a number of agreements and memorandums of understanding were signed which aimed to support the course of bilateral cooperation in the fields of economic, commercial, industrial, health and educational fields as well as maritime and air transport. His Majesty affirmed his pride in the deep-rooted brotherly relations as well as the historic ties between the two countries and the keenness on bolstering cooperation and joint action to serve common interests and contribute to achieving the aspired goals. His Majesty hailed the efforts of the Jordanian monarch in consolidating the Bahraini-Jordanian brotherly ties. He commended Jim Jordan's honorable stances towards Bahrain and its pivotal role in defending the causes of the Arab nation, particularly the Palestinian cause, and strengthening joint Arab action as well as its efforts to establish peace, security and stability in the Middle East. During the meeting, the latest regional Arab and international developments were discussed and points of view on a number of issues of common interest were exchanged. For his part, the Jordanian Prime Minister and Minister of Defense expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for the warm welcome and generous hospitality and his pride in His Majesty's leading role in consolidating bilateral relations and developing cooperation and coordination with Jordan. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued Royal Decree 2 of the year 2023, forming the Board of Trustees of the Higher Education Council, the HEC, for a renewable four year period based on the proposal of the Prime Minister and following the approval of the Cabinet. According to the decree, the HEC Board of Trustees shall be chaired by the Minister of Education and comprised of the following members the HEC Secretary General Deputy Chairperson, Chief Executive Officer of the Urban Planning and Development Authority, the UPDA, Chief Executive Officer Officer of the Economic Development Board, the EDB, Chief Executive Officer of the Labor Fund, Temkin, Chief Executive Officer of the Education and Training Authority, BQA, Assistant Undersecretary for Commercial Registration and Companies at the Ministry of Industry and Commerce, Director General of Organization and Positive Budget at the Civil Service Bureau, the CSB, Arabian Gulf University President, and Chief Executive Officer of the Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry, the BCCI. His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa met with the Prime Minister and Minister of Defense of Jordan, Dr. Bishr Al Khassauna, and an accompanying delegation at Ghadebiya Palace. His Royal Highness welcomed the Premier's visit to Bahrain and highlighted the role of official bilateral meetings in furthering the deep-rooted Bahrain-Jordan bilateral ties in line with the visions and aspirations of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the King of Jordan, His Majesty King Abdullah II ibn Al Hussein. على الشرف سلام المملكة الأردنية الهاشمية سلام مملكة البحرين سلام
His Royal Highness the Jordanian Prime Minister then co-chaired the fifth session of the Bahraini-Jordanian Coordination Council meeting. During the meeting, long-standing Bahrain-Jordan ties were reviewed in which His Royal Highness noted the importance of the fifth session of the Bahraini-Jordanian Coordination Council meeting and furthering relations. His Royal Highness further emphasized the importance of the signing of agreements which will aim to expand cooperation and coordination to meet shared aspirations and goals. His Royal Highness went on to outline the significant of the industrial partnerships between Bahrain and the UAE, Egypt and Jordan. The partnerships contributions to the development of regional and industrial sectors on a global scale were noted as well as its importance in enhancing the capacity of supply chains between member states. His Royal Highness welcomed the convening of the fifth session of the Bahrain-Jordanian Coordination Council meeting and noted its importance in exchanging or enhancing cross-sector cooperation between the private sectors of both countries. His Royal Highness, uh, the Jordanian Prime Minister, then witnessed uh, the signing of several bilateral agreements and MOUs aimed at consolidating partnerships across trade and commerce, labor and vocational training, healthcare, youth, education, information and sea and air freight services, all of which contribute to the creation of quality opportunities that will benefit both countries and their people. Regional and international issues of common interest were also reviewed, in which His Royal Highness, as well as the Jordanian Prime Minister, acknowledged the joint efforts and cooperation are important to successfully addressing and overcoming challenges and achieving common aspirations. Both sides further stressed the importance of joint efforts to support regional peace and tolerance. The Prime Minister of Jordan expressed gratitude and appreciation for the warm reception and hospitality he and his accompanying delegation have received in Bahrain and noted His Royal Highness's commitment to support the advancement of Bahrain-Jordan ties. In addition, it was agreed that the sixth session of the Bahrain-Jordanian Coordination Council meeting will take place in Jordan at a date to be agreed upon by both sides in due course. His Royal Highness then held a lunch banquet in honor of the Jordanian Prime Minister and the accompanying delegation's visit to Bahrain. A number of senior officials also attended the meeting.
The fifth session of the Joint Higher Committee between Bahrain and Jordan was held in celebration of the fifth anniversary of the establishment of diplomatic relations between the two countries. The Bahraini side was shared by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa and the Jordanian side was shared by the Prime Minister and Minister of Defense of Jordan Dr. Bishr Al Khassawna. At the conclusion of the session a joint statement was issued and the two sides discussed the historical brotherly relations between the two kingdoms in light of the support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the King of Jordan, His Majesty King Abdullah II ibn Al Hussein, which is a unique example of solid brotherhood based on respect and understanding. They reviewed the course and development of bilateral cooperation and affirmed the importance of expanding cooperation in the economic, commercial and investment fields and supporting the private sector in increasing trade exchange. They also reviewed regional developments and issues and affirmed the importance of continuing cooperation and coordination to reach political solutions that consolidate peace and stability. The two sides stress the centrality of the Palestinian cause and the need to reach a just solution that meets all the legitimate rights of the brotherly Palestinian people based on the two-state solution and according to relevant international legitimacy resolutions and the Arab Peace Initiative. They stress the importance of the role of the historical Hashemite custodianship over the Islamic and Christian sanctities in Jerusalem and protecting sanctities, their identity and the his existing historical and legal status therein. The two sides affirmed their absolute rejection of all measures targeting the Christian presence in occupied East Jerusalem and changing the existing historical and legal status there, including Islamic and Christian properties and endowments. The two sides also renewed their, their support for Iraq's security and stability and praised the role of Jordan in hosting the Baghdad Conference for Cooperation and Partnership in its second edition and the participation of Bahrain in the work of the conference. The Bahraini side praised the continuous cooperation between Jordan, Iraq and Egypt within the framework of the uh, tripartite cooperation mechanism between the three countries. The two sides praised Bahrain's accession to the Complementary Industrial Partnership Initiative with the UAE, Egypt and Jordan, which is an important gain that contributes to the development of the industrial sector and enabling it to compete at the global level. The two sides reviewed a number of regional and international issues and stressed the need to work together to enhance joint Arab action to support the capabilities of dealing with all challenges and issues in the region. They stressed the importance of joint action to support efforts to establish peace, promote tolerance, peaceful coexistence among different religions and beliefs, and combat extremism and terrorism organizations. They also stressed the importance of building a friendly and balanced relationship between all countries in the region and the importance of respecting the sovereignty of states and non-interference in their internal affairs. The two sides signed a number of agreements, MOUs and executive programs in various fields. They also agreed to hold the sixth session of the Joint Higher Committee in Jordan in 2024, a date to be determined through diplomatic channels. The National Guard Commander General His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa patronized the conclusion of the joint drill Al Badr 7, which was conducted with the Pakistani army and held amid the celebrations marking the National Guard's 26th anniversary. The ceremony was also attended by BDF Chief of Staff Lieutenant General Diab bin Sagr Naimi, the Pakistani Army Director General of Training and Evaluation, Inspector General Lieutenant General Mohammed Haider. The National Guard Commander has accompanied by, was accompanied by National Guard Staff Director. Lieutenant General Sheikh Abdul Aziz bin Saud Al Khalifa. It was received on arrival by senior officers. The commander of the Special Operations Unit, Lieutenant Colonel His Highness Sheikh Salman bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, delivered a speech in which he expressed his congratulations on the occasion of the National Guard's 26th anniversary, which is supported by the vision of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces, and which became a protective force as a result of the leadership of the National Guard commander. The commander of the participating Pakistan. Pakistani Special Force Battalion has also given a brief on the drill to exchange experiences in combating terrorism through the application of a number of security hypotheses. تقدم مدرعات قاعدة الإسناد لتأمين دخول فريق الاقتحام الأول
الاتحام الاول للنزول من الاليه والتقرب الى الهدف باسلوب النار والحركه التكتيكيه موضح بالعلم الابيض ويستعد للاقتحام تم استلام الرسالة عليكم تشديد المراقبة وسيتم ارسال فريق التعامل مع المتفجرات للتعامل مع الجسم الغريب وابطاله الان تقوم فرق الاقتحام باقتحام المباني بعدة طرق الاقتحام الرأسي باستخدام الحبل السريع من طائرة البلاك هوك الاقتحام باستخدام آلية السلالم الاقتحام الأرضي من الأبواب والنوافذ من المنصة أوضح بعلم أصفر وأحمر وسيتم التعامل معهم بفريق رد الفعل السريع بواسطة الدراجات الرباعية باستخدام الرشاشات وصاروخ مضاد الدروع الار بي جي 7 تم الآن السيطرة على مباني السفارة من قبل قواتنا وسيتم عملية الفرز على الإرهابيين والرهان The National Guard commander witnessed the event of the drill, which included a parachute show by the National Guard parachute jump team, which, with the participation of the Pakistani Army Freefall team.
أن تشاهدون من الأعلى وصول علم مملكة البحرين وعلم جمهورية باكستان الشقيقة The sign has then granted military service medals class 1 and 2 to officers and non-commissioned officers of the National Guard as per Royal Decree 46 of the year 2022. He also handed the National Guard Commander's Shooting Championship Cup to the commander of the Special Operations Unit. His Highness congratulates His Majesty the King, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and National Guard affiliates on the 26th milestone. He praised the royal care accorded by His Majesty the King to the National Guard to enhance its readiness and capabilities to perform its duties in maintaining Bahrain's security and stability. He expressed pride in the levels of development and modernization at by the National Guard in accordance with strategic plans that included all its leadership training, operational and logistic sectors to be a protective force for the achievements and gains of the prosperous era of His Majesty. He added that Al-Badr drills to combat terrorism reflect advanced levels of military cooperation with the Pakistani army in accordance with protocols signed between the two sides to raise levels of readiness and exchange expertise. He commended the success of the joint drill Al-Badr 7, congratulating the participating forces from the National Guard and the Pakistani army for their accuracy and high efficiency in implementing the exercises. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, Zainal Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, affirmed that the achievements made in Bahraini Camel Sport are thanks to the support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the follow up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Highness praised winning the title of the King Abdul Aziz Award for Camel Sports in Saudi Arabia and affirmed that such achievements reflect a successful march of the sport or this sport in external participations. His Highness said that this achievement will be a motive to enhance the successes and upcoming participations and wished everyone success in this regard. كان هذا الميدان انطلقت الشعارات هنا لتخوض قموض يتابع لنا في هذه اللحظات قموض مع هذه العزيز بن سعود بن نايف آل سعود وصلت وصلت الشحانية وهجنها مشكور يا محمد يا بن عبد الله بن شريم من قدم لنا خطيرة سلام لأبناء طيب الكاس يخطف الذهب مع تغريب اللي انتزعت هذا النماز وهذا الكاس وهذا الرمز الثمين السلامات من المملكة العربية لحظة وصول تغريد ست دقائق 24 ثانية ثمانة تجاون من الثواني ثانينا والنماز لسمو الشيخ ناصر بن حمد بن عيسى الخليفة مع تغريد خطيرة ثانيا وتوقيتها ست دقائق 24 ثانية و20 جزء من الثواني ثانينا والنماز لسمو الشيخ ناصر بن حمد بن عيسى الخليفة ثالثا الصميم وتوقيتها ست دقائق خمسة وعشرين ثانية وأربعة وعشرين جزء 
The Bahraini Jordanian Joint Ministerial Committee held its preparatory meeting ahead of the meeting, which was held and chaired by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister and Jordanian Prime Minister and Minister of Defense. The meeting was chaired by the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdelatif Zayani, and the Jordanian Minister of Commerce and Trade, Yusuf Shemali, in the presence of senior officials. The minister delivered a speech in which he praised the bilateral relations and the keenness of both countries to further enhance the bilateral cooperation in line with the visions of His Majesty the King and the King of Jordan. Al Shamaya delivered a speech in which he praised the bilateral relations and praised the role of the joint meeting in further enhancing the bilateral cooperation. The committee discussed the topics on the agenda, the bilateral cooperation, and discussed topics of common interest. The president of the Electricity and Water Authority, Kamal bin Ahmed Mohammed, affirmed that the installation of high-tech power digital meters is expected to be completed by June 2023 as planned. He said that the project is one of EWA's strategic initiatives that aim to bring about digital transformation in the electricity and water sector in Bahrain. He added that the new digital meter provides subscribers accurate readings automatically and remotely without the need for any human intervention in addition to the automatic disconnection of the electric current in case of additional loads. The Ministers of Work, Engineer Ibrahim Al Hawaj, conducted a field tours across. Bahrain and took stock of the emergency team's efforts to ensure the safety of roads and the smooth flow of the traffic during rainfall. He stressed that the main road network and tunnels are possible and operate safely as the rainwater was dealt with by the rain teams. The minister also inspected a lousy area in the northern government in order to ensure the effectiveness of the solution that were implemented to prevent the accumulation of rainwater. The Meteorological Directorate forecasts unsettled weather with rain and may become thundery at times. The General Directorate of Civil Defense called on citizens and residents to take caution due to the rains that are sometimes accompanied by high-speed winds. The rain emergency teams in the Ministry of Municipalities Affairs and Agriculture continue to drain in the internal regions and neighborhoods around the clock in coordination with the departments of the Ministry of Interior and the various concerned authorities. The Minister of Tourism, Fatma Sayrafi, received Jordan's Minister of Tourism and Antiquities, Makram Qaisi. Al Qaisi Al Sayrafi also reflected on the long standing cultural and commercial ties between the two kingdoms and on ways to build on the links to bolster their tourism industries. She affirmed that Bahrain's interest in developing inter Arab tourism and boosting its contributions to the economic, social, and cultural development of Arab countries. The meeting discussed the possibility of introducing a program of joint tourism packages that would include both countries in one trip and providing touristic or tourists with a unique integrated experience. The ministers discussed cooperation between the two sides in the exhibition industry sector, particularly following the inauguration of Exhibition World Bahrain that will strengthen Bahrain's position in organizing the region's largest regional and international conference and exhibitions. The division's delegation participated in the meeting of the mini-committee of the legal team of the Arab Interparliamentary Union in Cairo to discuss non-binding guiding models of environmental crime laws, intellectual property and cyber crime, where the delegation of the Parliamentary Division of Bahrain submitted visuals to amend the proposals presented during the meeting that were regarded as essential aspects within the guiding evidence. The delegation of the Parliamentary Division of Bahrain, headed by second Deputy Speaker of the Council of Representatives, Ahmed Qarata, has affirmed that the participation in the Arab inter or Interparliamentary Union's discussion builds advanced laws in the fields of environment, intellectual property and combating crime. The Public Relations and Media Department of the Survey and Land Registration Bureau announced that the volume of real estate trading in 2022 reached 1 billion and 80 million Bahraini dinars, an increase of 3% compared to 2021. This came as a result of the steady advancement in the real estate market in the Kingdom of Bahrain, in addition to major development projects and strategic plans that have contributed to the national economy and made the Kingdom an attractive real estate destination for investors. 
The Financial Investigations Directorate at the Ministry of Interior signed an agreement in the field of money laundering and terrorism financing with the Armani Credit and Financial Information Center in the presence of the Director of the Financial Investigation Department at the Ministry, Sheikh Hamey bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, and the CEO of the Armani Credit and Financial Information Center, Colonel Abdurrahman bin Amr Al Kiyoumi. Sheikh Hamey stressed the importance of signing the memorandum to benefit from Bahrain's experience in the field of mutual evaluation of the Financial Action Task Force and to bolster cooperation between the two brotherly countries in the field of combating money laundering and terrorist financing. She praised the close bilateral historical ties and the mutual partnerships in various security fields. The agreement aims to exchange information related to money laundering and terrorist financing and related uh, predecessor crimes.